I don't know about you, but I am watching with some degree of horror as eugenics makes its way back into our society. And I say back because, you know, just prior to World War II, it was the intellectuals in the US that were really kind of into the idea of eugenics. And of course, that made its way over to Germany as well. But in Framingham, Massachusetts, Democratic Committee Chair Michael Hugo made the claim that children should be aborted to save on school funding because they might be disabled. So he's worried that a, a crisis pregnancy center would not correctly identify that a child was disabled and therefore that child would not be aborted and that would hurt their budget. Which is an incredible way, an incredibly evil way to look at human life. So inside of this, this council meeting, they're voting on a proclamation that would claim that pro-life charities are deceptive and misleading and that aborting unborn babies is a fundamental right. Yes, that's, that's the way they put it. Not that, you know, life is a fundamental right, but that abortions, i.e. ending life, is a fundamental right. Yes, it's very backwards, but that's what they're saying. So he's arguing against these, these pregnancy centers. And you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's just look at this clip, clip together, okay? Our fear is that if an unqualified sonographer uh, misdiagnoses a heart defect, an organ defect, spina bifida, or an encephalopathic defect, that becomes a very local issue because our school budget will have to absorb the cost of a child in, in special education, supplying lots and lots of special <coughs> services to children uh, who were born with the defect. So it's our hope that this that the council tonight will pass this uh, this this. Okay, so. Um, I, I fail to see that as anything other than eugenics, but in other words, people who have disabilities are unworthy of life because we don't want to give them any resources. And that's how he sees them, as a drain on resources. And so then you have to ask, okay, so that's the, I can't say moral argument, that's, that's the argument that he's making. What about later in life? Should we terminate the elderly because of their cost? Probably. If you if you accept the, the early argument that we should uh, kill off any potentially disabled children because they're going to be a cost, then anybody who's financially burdensome becomes just parasitic upon his wallet. And yeah, that's a really evil way to see the world. But I think this particular mindset is becoming more common. And really, when you look over, I mean, I, I wrote a, a long article about this. I'll link it in the description. But when you look over at Canada with their uh, medical assistance in dying program, you know, physician assisted suicide or euthanasia, whatever term you prefer, the, the arguments in favor of it, those who support it, support it largely for financial reasons. These people are a drain on our resources. Our socialized healthcare system can't keep up with demands. Um, the fix for that is not just killing people. It's not. It's not marginalizing people and reducing them to utility, which is what we've also seen. Um, and I've actually just been writing a lot about all these different topics of late. But that's what it is. It's can, can this person output more? And viewing human life in that, I guess, grossly secular way, um, has I mean it has serious ramifications that go all the way up to committing genocide against disabled people and then patting yourself on the back for your morality, which is what these people are doing. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.